Hello and welcome to episode 76 of Let's Run Facebook Ads, the podcast with myself, Nick Boddington. I hope you're all well. Today, we're going to be talking about video ads, um, how you should create a video ad for your advert. So before further ado, let's get it right into it. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the show. So today, video ads is what I want to talk about because with TikTok, with Reels, taking over the way that we as consumers are absorbing our content online using those two platforms. And I know that I'm a sucker for it. I'm, I love watching Reels. I love watching TikTok. I love the whole speed of that thing. People are asking me whether their, their ads on Facebook and Instagram need to be the same. And the answer is no, they don't. You don't need to worry about this too much. And the example I'm going to give is of a client of mine who every month around the 15th does a tax, free tax webinar Q&A thing on YouTube. And when he's, I've, I've been onto a couple of his things and see him present this Q&A. He has a colleague with him and basically 150 odd people turn up and they ask questions about property tax, commercial property tax, you know, landlords and things like this. And he answers with his colleague all these questions over about an hour period. Now, he's brilliant on it. We asked him to do a video really quickly. He was about to go on holiday or something. So he had literally had hours and said, look, I haven't really got anything. I'll do something right now for you where I can get it posted, sent out to you, and can you post it using the ad? Anyway, we got this, we got this across, and I was like, oh, God, we can't, we can't use this. This is not, I don't think it's going to get anywhere. It so it wasn't like he was presenting when you see him on camera. He was having to really think about what he was saying. There was pauses, there was the odd stutter. It was very robotic. Anyway, we put that ad up against some statics. So normal static ads, which is him and his colleague with the date on it, join us for this free Q&A webinar, um, whatever the 15th, Wednesday the 15th of June was the last one, et cetera, et cetera. And it, using the dynamic creative, we use this, we use two pieces of copy and we use the video and these two images. The two images got some leads, the video, even though bad, got 135 leads for £3.23 uh, a lead. Really, really good. This wasn't sending them to a website. This was on Facebook leads. Of that, they had, I think it was 97 people turned up to watch the Q&A, which was amazing. So of that, you know, he, you think of it from a funnel point of view, he's going he's gonna to literally have these people on it for an hour. He's going to answer their questions, hopefully, and all of them. And then they're going to be sold massively on the value this individual can bring and then even though he's not going for a sell afterwards if they need uh, a tax accountant for their property portfolio or to help them with the property they might be starting they're going to go to him because they've had that hour's worth of, of um of value now the next one's coming up in july and i basically looked at the stats i want him to do the way the way the video has been made he does a very 10 15 seconds intro, which he mentions the date, that one was June the 15th, join me here, blah, blah. And then he gives about uh, 30, 30 seconds worth of some example questions, just so that someone who's gone in for the hook of the ad, so the video starts playing, even though he's stuttering, etc., they're watching that video, they're seeing an idea of the Q&A questions, and then they're making a decision to actually opt in for a lead and get reminders and then join it. Now he's getting, obviously for the first 25% of that, of that minute long video, he's getting a decent amount in there. I think he gets like 60% watching it, but the drop off isn't huge. He's not ending up with like 9% watch the whole video. He's ending up in like the 20%. I don't know the exact figure, but it's in the 20% of watching the whole video in full. And this is coming from something that I, critical of it at first, kind of sniggered at, now I'm saying to him, okay, the next video, we've got the Q&A bit, we can re-edit it. I just need you to do an intro just the same way, okay? So don't worry about it. Don't worry about having this unbelievably smooth, you've got video guys out there doing it for you. It's costing, I mean, it will cost you a fortune. Do not bother. Pick up your iPhone, stick it in a stand, have some light on it. I've got, if you're watching YouTube, I've just got some light on my face now. You can buy these little camera holders and literally just talk to camera download it, stick it in. Now you can split your ads by reels and things like this and definitely do so. Real ads are getting really, really cheap um, rates at the moment to show people because it's all about pushing it out. But the moral of the story here is 
do not worry about the quality of the content of your video. Quality, yes, because you don't want it to look rubbish. But just say what you've got to say, create that hook, get it across in the first three, five seconds. Talk about it, even if it's two minutes long, as long as you're bringing value, the right people will listen and watch your video. I hope that helps and I'll see you on the next one.